Hey, if you're coming up on your closing day for your real estate transaction, congratulations. You've made it through most of the 30 days of fingernail biting, making sure everything's coming together, all the renegotiations and so forth. And so now it's time to sit down at the closing table and go through your big stack of paperwork. So what is that like and what do you need to do? So first of all, you usually have two options. You can come in to the escrow company um, and that's what I'm doing today. So I'll show you a few clips of what that looks like or you can request that a notary come to your house. So they have mobile notaries who just um, get the, the call from the job board and they will come to your house at lunchtime at seven o'clock at night before work. You could meet at a Starbucks and you could do all the same stuff in a location and time of your choice. Typically, if you're coming into the office here, it's gonna be kind of a, a nine to five type of thing when they've got folks to come in. But you're just gonna go in, you're gonna introduce yourself at the front desk and you're gonna sit down in a small conference room with just like you and your spouse and the notary. So there's not, in some states it's different. There's like attorneys, you see the buyers and the sellers coming together. It's a big, often the realtor, the lender will be there. It's a big party. I am welcome, I'm happy to come to your closing if you want any kind of support or hand holding. I like to do that, but some people say like, no, it's easier for me to just schedule it. And oftentimes we're scheduling at the last minute anyway. So bring your driver's license or another form of identification because the notary needs to check that when you're signing documents. They're going to check your identification. They're going to write that number in their log book and just kind of confirming as well as they can that you are who you say you are and who you're signing as. And then you'll go through pretty thick stack of documents. If you're buying, it can be a lot of loan documents. If you're selling, it's a little bit shorter stack, but you will still have plenty, plenty to work through. And the notary does a great job of explaining this is for that, this is for that. Ideally, you will have seen the documents before. You know, there's like a 40 page document that's explaining what your mortgage is about and that type of thing. So we don't really have time to read through everything in detail, but you do wanna confirm, especially the terms of the loan, that you're borrowing the amount you think at the interest rate you think and those types of things. Also, the day of your signing is a good day if you have not already done so to wire over your remaining down payment funds, your closing costs. This is should be in your documents. It's called cash to close. The escrow company should contact you about that, but sometimes they're a little slack. So this is me telling you now to wire your money. It needs to be there ideally in the morning on the day of closing. So having done it the day before or even a couple days before is preferable. So that's pretty much it. Have a great time at your signing. Don't stress out. It's gonna be done in about 45 minutes to an hour, maybe less if you're fast. So have a great time, get it done. And if you have any questions, you can always let me know.